Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Mobile of Unlimited. Wow. Well, the river is not so deep so she has to swim across it and climbing up and down the cliffs doesn't look so... Hmm? Ugh, rain again. Wow, that looks so good. It looks really smooth. Wait a sec. This is... Oh, crap. Monsoon? Whoa. I'm glad it's sudden downpour. Yesterday's rain was like a gentle shower compared to this. Oh, a squall. What's that? Got that right. Got enough working against us as it is. That mean ain't gonna be alright. Rain is unbelievable. Even though she's got a lifeline running to a tree up here, I still wouldn't want to be in her shoes right there. Steady climbing her way up, ignoring the rain completely. Even when the slightest slip of her hand would mean tumbling down head first. She's incredible. Oh look, she's over there. Oh, and a rope. Huh? Oh, uh, I was just wondering what exactly we're supposed to do with the rope. I think I have a pretty good guess already, though. Whoa, she's fast. You kidding me? I think I'm monkey or something. Ah, uh, hey. Ah, uh, damn it. I promised myself I wasn't going to be a quitter, so I guess I've just got a man up. Thanks, dude. It, is it is it really that deep? It doesn't look that deep. Look look out look how deep that ravine was. Not deep. I can't hear you. Speak louder. This rain is very loud. Wait, but now you have water! Now you have water, Chizuru! Yeah, it's a monsoon out here. Can we just keep going then? Last rep's got a point. Huh. Can't we just like throw something sharp over there to get the rope back? Like cut the rope and bring it back? I mean, I don't think we're, you know, gonna go back there anytime soon. And I have learned the hard way that not having a rope on hand when you really need one can turn into a total nightmare. Or that. I don't know, man. Oh, you're standing with class rep? I luck with that one, Makoto. Well, if anyone can find a way to put it to good use, it's Tama. What about you, Ayamine? 
意見がなかったら言わなくていいわよどうかもしれないどうして体調に行ってんのかえ、uh, I don't know what I expected. There was something else, I mean, eh? Having the boss say stuff like that, even the most dire of situations, you're the real deal. And if reincarnation's a thing, I feel like you two must have been mortal, mortal enemies in one, more than one, pa one past life. Come on, be serious. Oh, good point. Because you wouldn't have let Ayamine try that stunt while it was raining? I wonder if Maya just like left to go get the rope back. Maya? Huh? What the hell is she doing? Why is she playing with her bootlaces? Uh, what's with the delayed response? You're just begging your class rep to yell at you when you do stuff like that. What does she mean by still acting like this? Yeah, what she said. It's probably just thinking stuff over, right? Oh, my God. 
Dude, you can't tell anyone about the game guy. I think I get it now. It's the game guy's fault. That's why she won't do anything that doesn't have a clear benefit of some kind. Convince that thing counts as training. And she gets to have fun while she's at it? Talk about killing two birds with one stone. After experiencing that, who'd ever go back to just having fun for fun's sake? Probably made stuff like juggling marbles or maybe... Or playing with a kendama seemed totally meaningless to her. Hell, even shogi. And all that matters is whether or not something yields tangible benefits. Whether it has a point. And that's... All my fault. My fault. I lent her the game guy and lied to her. My fault recharging the batteries even though I knew it was becoming a problem. Oh no! Wait, stop pushing the issue. Look, Maya, what you're saying is a lot of you and everything, but that doesn't mean it isn't wrong. I mean, ultimately, all you care about are tangible results, right? They're like shogi to you. Are you trying to plan everything out several moves in advance? Well, personally, it took this whole island ordeal for me to finally realize that nobody can survive all on their own. But haven't you guys known that your whole lives? And you're dip and you're right. Being comrades and being friends are two different things. But the line you've drawn between yourself and the rest of us lately is wrong. You're not someone's comrade just because you're on the same team. You need to treat them with respect and you need to earn their trust. You know that class rep's been so concerned about you, she explicitly asked me to make sure you're doing okay? We went on and on about how everyone depended on you. Get that maybe there's something going on that you can't talk to us about, but if it's having this much of a negative effect on you, then you need to get it, get it the hell out of your life. This is coming from the guy who lent you that game guy in the first place. I'm sure you catch my drift. Whatever it might be, you need to be able to tell the difference between when something's good for you and when it's just plain unhealthy. You can't let it take over your life. Well, different enough that I can understand why everyone's feeling so apprehensive. I do, but I can't say. Well, what I can say... That's my fault May has gone this way. But that's all you're gonna get out of me. This is gonna be really lame for me, but I've gotta put my own fault out of mind for a sec so I can say what needs to be said. Class rep, aren't you the one who said we can't afford to fail this time? Remember when you gave me that lecture on orders and authority? Whatever happened to all that stuff? Sure, I had a hard time wrapping my head around what you guys were saying at all the time, but now I finally feel like I'm starting to get it. Don't make me second guess myself now. Are we really gonna fail this exam over a petty disagreement, just like you guys did last time? We're just giving her a warning, that's fine, but you also need to take responsibility for having waited so long to do so. 
That's Slider, right? Aren't you also to blame here for ignoring it up till now? Why don't you just unload all your pent-up frustration under now? Oh, yes it is. Or what? Are you saying you wouldn't mind failing the evaluation over this? Is that it? Sorry, but I'm not gonna let that happen. What the hell, you guys? I'm supposed to be the dead weight around here. Get it together. If you don't want to pass, just say so. Don't use this weird roundabout logic to pin it all on Maya. Some team you are. What do you want? Hey, uh. I think we all got kind of emotional and said some stuff we didn't really mean. Why don't we just put this behind us and try to move on? Oh, come on, class rep. You can do better than that. Be a real squad leader and say water under the bridge or something, then order us to roll out. Alright already, we're moving on now. Our top priority right now is passing this exam. So about the rope versus rifle thing. Personally, I feel like no matter how much we debate this, it's still going to be a crapshoot. Mm. I think it'd be best to just go along with whatever class rep decides. How about it? Yep, so I don't want to hear any whining about this later, you hear me? Okay then, class rep, give us your order! I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Oh my gosh, we just got all the pent-up anger in pent-up girl anger rage team thing out of here. And now we are back as a team. Oh my gosh, finally! So we'll find out what the decision, or uh, how it's going to go actually, in the next episode of Mob Love Unlimited. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Bye!